Today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for all you cottage lovers out there, Jenny, and it's water. Not the water you swim, boat, or play in, specifically the water you drink, bathe, and cook in. Whether you're drawing your water from a well or a lake, we've got you covered today. We're going to discuss portable water, or potable, what it is, how to test it, basic filtration requirements, both for well water and lake water, and we're even going to explore the different types of water you might encounter in cottage country, like hard water, soft water, and that super stinky, sulfur smelling water. Yuck. It really is. Well, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to share some winter maintenance tips mm -hmm. to keep your pipes Not from best. freezing. And uh, let's just get right into it. Then, Why don't Jenny? we? Before okay. we get too silly. Yes. So before we get into the nitty gritty of water sources, let's talk about Potable or potable water? I think potable, potable is a, a conversation. Tomato, itself. tomato. But potable water basically is safe for consumption, meaning it has no contaminants in it. But how do you know if your water is... Drinkable. Potable? Thank you. Testing is the key. It is. Now, uh, you may not know this, but most municipalities offer free testing kits that you can pick up at any time. And local health units will complete a comprehensive analysis of your sample and mail or email you the results in as little as a week. It's wonderful. These tests can detect all sorts of bacteria, parasites, and impurities that might be present in your water. And you don't want any of those nasties. You're really looking for results as close to zero zero for chloroform and E. coli. I'm glad you said that because I can't say chloroform. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, now that you know what you're looking for, let's look at where the water is coming from. We've got two options. Let's start with well water, which is a common source in cottage country. So wells draw their water from underground aquifers. And to ensure your well water is safe, you might want to consider installing a filtration system. Such as? Well, a basic setup might include a sediment filter to remove any large particles, a carbon filter for odors and taste, and a UV disinfection system to kill any bacteria and viruses that might be in the water. Okay. And a big thing to remember is that you want to regularly maintain and replace the filters so that you can keep your water clean and safe. Now, if your cottage is located near a lake, chances are you could be using lake water as your mm -hmm. source. Uh, however, lake water requires a bit more extensive filtration due to its natural contaminants. True. Think geese, fish, etc. A well-designed filtration system for lake water typically includes a combination of pre-filters, carbon filters, and a reverse osmosis system. This setup effectively removes any and all impurities, providing you with clean and safe drinking water. Okay. That's what you want. Yeah. So now you know where your water is coming from and the basic requirements to treat it. But how do you deal with those various types of water? Like you know what? The types of water I'm talking about. Well, let's talk about hard water. Okay. You will know you have hard water if you've got a hard time creating soapy lather when you're in the shower, when All you're right. doing your dishes. Okay. And you'll often find soap scum residue on oh, yes. shower stalls right. and on containers and stuff. Um, it's not harmful and you can drink it, but it will wreak havoc on your plumbing system and household appliances. Um, and it'll leave behind sightly, unsightly mineral deposits. I've seen those. You have. Everyone have. has. Yeah. Okay. So installing a water softener is an easy fix for that one. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we might encounter is that sulfur smell. It's notorious for its nasty rotten egg odor. It's the worst. It really is. And mm -hmm. It, it kind of occurs more often than you think in the Kawarthas, okay? Yeah. But fear not, there are effective treatments available. Carbon filter and aeration systems can work wonders in eliminating those unpleasant sulfur smells and leaving your water with odorless and enjoyable consumption. Which is what we're all looking for. That's right. So, okay, you've enjoyed the cottage and the water both inside and out mm -hmm. all summer long. And now the cold weather starting to sit in. So, oh, you know, the, the winter season, it's hushed beauty and twinkling landscapes. Oh, right. We Don't love so cottage country in the winter. Yeah. But it also presents its fair share of challenges when it comes to water management. So if your cottage is seasonal and you anticipate freezing temperatures, even if you're still coming up on the weekends, it's crucial to properly shut off your water system. 
before the op before the op before the ice comes in and, and freezes right freezes your pipes yeah. yeah so yeah the seasonal if you're in a seasonal cottage and you don't plan to use it in the winter months you're going to want to fully drain all the pipes yeah. and take extra precautions like installing antifreeze in the toilet tanks in the drain traps um, and other vulnerable areas in the cottage right 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 yeah normally that's a dean job well Okay. Now, on the other hand, if you're fortunate enough to have a four-season cottage, maintaining a minimum heat level is important, you, again, to prevent those pipes from freezing, Jen. That's right? right. And you know what? Even keep the cabinet doors open where the pipes are to allow warm air circulation. And you could also consider adding pipe insulation for an extra layer of protection. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. So if you found this video valuable, be sure to check out our next episode where we'll be sharing important insights on everything to do with septic systems. The scoop on poop? The scoop on poop okay. from how a system works to best practices. We're going to give you all the poop, Dean, okay. on water and everything else that leaves your cottage.